Welcome back to Public Affairs on Peach. I'm Vince Sims. We're talking to people making a difference in the African American community. The man at my side right here, C.J. Stewart, founder of the Lead to Legacy. Now, in a way, this is a massive mentoring program. So explain what LEAD stands for, L-E-A-D, and what this actually does. So LEAD stands for Launch, Expose, Advise, and Direct. And our mission is to empower an at-risk generation to lead and transform their city of Atlanta. And our vision is that our LEAD ambassadors will lead their city of Atlanta to lead the world. And the reason why we do what we do, my wife Kelly and I, along with our board of directors, is because I don't believe that Atlanta will ever become a world-class city until hundreds of thousands of black males are living a sustainable life of significance. So in this program that you have, how many children, young men, do you work with? You. So at the middle school level, uh, within APS, we're, we're all, we have an awesome partner in APS. We can't do it without them. We have up to 360 uh, young men that we call junior ambassadors, and then we have up to 40 that we call lead ambassadors that are in APS high schools. And this is centered around baseball. So explain why baseball is the center of this and why that's so important. So baseball has always been a very uh, integral part of our uh, of America. Um, without Jackie Robinson, the I Have a Dream speech is not as powerful. Uh, thank God for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., but when that, that speech was able to land on some, some empathetic ears because of what Jackie Robinson did, but also, too, even with the Atlanta Braves coming here to Atlanta, uh, being the first professional team to play in the South. So baseball uh, allows us to allow our young men to do tough stuff. Uh, baseball is a very difficult sport, and Lee provides a safe place for black males to fail. Now, as we talk about sports and black males, we have to, you know, many of them want to become sports and athletes, but going pros, being a professional may not always work out, so how do you teach them that side of it as well as what could, else could happen? Well, we'll start with the stats. I mean, right this past year, 2.9% of NCAA Division One baseball players were black, and 7% played at the major league level. So those chances are very slim. Uh, but making sure that they understand that uh, we need politicians, we need people to lead this city, we need people to lead this world. Um, but also too, just making sure that we give them the opportunity through our pathway to empowerment uh, to not crush their dreams, but give them the opportunity so that we don't tell them to quit, but they can make the decision on their own. All right, explain the four phases they learn about through this program. So we have an assessment phase, engagement, empowerment, and an application. And I think that's very important because we oftentimes talk about things that to do, but we don't talk about when to do them. And when it comes down to engaging black males, um, at least from my perspective growing up here in Atlanta, that's important. So that the fall is our assessment phase. Uh, we go into the winter with engagement where we're finally teaching them stuff. Uh, spring is empowerment and then the summertime is application. So it, it can be hard to learn that, you know, I guess part of this is teaching that failure can be an opportunity. So as you were saying, you know, the stats and what they say about making it to your goals. So how do you show them that there's still opportunity if they fail by not reaching maybe their main goal of sports? So for us, you know, living out your purpose is, is the desired outcome. And so to live a life of significance requires purpose, passion, and grit. Uh, passion comes from suffering. Whatever you're suffering from is what your passion is, and that's going to fuel your life purpose. So that's important because it'll allow them to live a fulfilled life. But even for me now as a coach, I mean, I honestly can say that I get more joy out of coaching and developing others than I did even playing myself. That's a good answer there because my next question for you was, what do you find most gratifying about the work that you do? Well, I mean, again, I mean, I'm able to live my life purpose. I wake up every day uh, fortunate enough to do the right things and spend time with the right people. Uh, I'm an imperfect uh, man, uh, but I've got a very strong support system. And that's one of those things where uh, if you can have a life of peace, then you can pretty much do anything in the world. All right. And tell us right quick about one of the success stories. One of your grads went to Texas A&M. Austin Evans, amazing young man. Uh, he was not the most talented baseball player that we had in our organization, but was really attracted to it because of the leadership component that we, uh, that we have, which is one of our pillars. And so Austin is now a junior at Texas A&M. Uh, for three years, he's been the off-campus senator at Texas A&M, coming from Boulevard. He graduated from new schools at Carver. And uh, during, during the time when the Confederate statues were being um, removed, Austin passed legislation, passed a bill for a statue to be erected in Texas of the first black uh, graduate of Texas A&M. And so that's the power of the things we get an opportunity to do through LEAD. All right, CJ Stewart, thank you very so much for being with us. Website is there, was there on the screen for us. All right, stay with us. Public Affairs on Peach will return with some folks who will definitely leave you smiling.